Greetings and salutations. It is Tuesday, December 23rd. Christmas is in two days! Dee! And uh, for those who don't celebrate Christmas, I'm sorry, I celebrate it, so I'm excited about it. Um, so, I just want to make sure this is actually working. Yes, it is. Okay, good. So, uh, surprise! I'm doing a nice crown run for you. I've gotten so many requests for this, and I wasn't sure I could solo it, and then finally I ended up soloing it. Um, I'm going to solo it on 25 uh, on 10 man regular because it'll be faster it is definitely soloable at level 100 on 25 regular 25 heroic is a bit more tricky if you have very good dps i don't think you'll have an issue if you're not that great on dps if you want to get the heroic achievements um i would grab an extra person um for all of them except for the last boss because the last boss is really freaking hard on heroic um is around 25 man I should say um, because on the last fight which we'll get to when we get to it um, these unborn these Valkyr come and they pull people out of the party now on 10 man they only pull one on 25 man they pull three and as soon as you bring one back another one swoops in to grab if you're only playing with two so the last boss it is easiest to fight with one no matter what difficulty you're on especially with 25 um, it's just very time consuming and I am on a time limit today so we're gonna do 10 man so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click we're going to go to raid difficulty and we're on 10 man regular. I'm going to do it on her. No, I'm going to do it on normal. Again, 10 man, 25 man regular heroic at level 100. It will not be an issue, I promise you. So, let's do this. So, we're going to run in. Let's go kill the Lich King. So, um, the rep you are going to get is the. I know this, I know this, it's the Ashen Verdict. Um, and the Quartermaster is actually right here in the raid, so as you're getting it, as you're getting rep throughout, um, you can go to the Quartermaster and complete stuff. So, there we are. And I actually finished this, so I have the ultimate ring of ultimate destiny now. Um, because I got exalted with them, but doesn't really do me much good right now, given that it is a level 80 ring and I am level 100. We're a couple expansions past now, so... Shall we? Let's go. So, um, in terms of tokens, tokens still drop, but they aren't really used for much. You're going to be buying your stuff with gold, because they changed that when Warlords came out. Um, however, that's okay. Um, I'm not going to really talk about f like awesome loot drops. Basically, all I'm going to do is uh, just show you how to kill all the bosses. Um, you can get something like Atlas loot. You can get something like uh, you can get something like Atlas loot. You can get something like uh, just, there's a whole bunch of items that do it. Atlas loot is the best one. You can just look online. Um, is there anything? I'm not even going to bother looting these guys because there's nothing I really want except the bosses. So um, trash is really easy, especially on. 10 man regular. There's nothing too exciting about it. Um, if Why am I looting? I said I wasn't going to loot. Um, if you are going for rep, kill all the trash. All the trash will give you rep. Um, if you are not going for rep, you can skip quite a bit of the trash, actually. I'm quite impressed. Um, if you're doing this at a lower level, watch out for spells. If you're doing this at a higher level, like you can see, I haven't taken any damage or very little damage. You're probably okay. Um, Killing all the things. Drop that. Drop that. Alright. So, then they're going to talk for a while. They talk kind of throughout the whole thing, and you can always hear what's going on. So, this is the first boss. This is Lord Marilgar. And he does a couple things that you need to avoid. Um, let's just start fighting him. 3.5 million health. That's not bad. Okay, and he does this fat frost thing that you're going to want to step out of. You don't really need to step out of it when you're, if you're doing this on 10 man regular, but it's just a good habit to get into if you end up uh, doing this at a higher difficulty or something like that. Um, he does a move called Bone Spike, which we managed to avoid. Um, just don't stand in the spikes or you'll get trapped and the other player people that you're fighting with will need to um, attack the Bone Spikes if you're doing this by yourself and get problematic. So what do we get? We got a trinket that's no good to me, and a neck piece that's no good to me. I will take the money. Alright, and let's motor on. So you go up the ramp, does not matter which side. You can 
see. So that's the first boss. And now we're going to go fight the second boss. I'm so glad I have Angelic Feather because seriously this is a lot, involves a lot of running. So there are these Scourge Transporters all throughout the uh, area. So we can right now teleport back to the beginning. This is the next area. This is the Spire. Um, Lady Death Whisper. Um, I'm again, I'm not going to do achievements. This is only a run through. Uh, we'll possibly do achievements at a later date. I'm just going to pull the whole group. And we're going to do this. We'll attack these guys. And the reason, like I said, the reason I'm not doing achievements is she. We're doing this on regular, and most of the achievements on regular, you own. You own most of the achievements for the what for the like titles or mounts or whatever you need to do on heroic. So we're only doing this on regular. So this is only a walkthrough. So with her, you're gonna fight through her mana pool first, and then you'll start doing damage to her her mana barrier, and then you'll start doing damage to uh, her. And she'll spawn adds if you don't kill her fast enough. But as you can see, I pretty much destroyed her on a very very crappy shadow spec because I'm not geared for shadow. All right, so that is that. Now we backtrack, and I believe we take the teleporter. Whee! See, we're already down to the second boss. Now, sometimes I can't always remember what boss that I'm supposed to be on. So, all right, so the next one is Rampart of Skulls. So the one we were just at is the Oratory of the Damned. So, now comes an interesting one. So, this one used to be very tricky if you didn't have enough people. And now, oh, am I actually being attacked? I am. Okay. Well, let's do this. Alright. So, Alliance, you go left. And I believe Horde, you go right. I've never done this as Horde. But that would be my guess. And we'll kill this guy just to make sure. So, um, if you are doing this as ranged, um, you don't actually need to jump onto the other ship. If you are doing this as melee, you need to kill the other, you need to kill the boss on the other ship. So, talk to this guy. It's a flag boom box, and I'll grab it anyway just to show you how to do it. Okay, and we're going to click on it, and now it's equipped as a shirt. And now we talk to Muradin. what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump in one of these now um, again on 10 regular you may not even need the rocket pack if you're doing this on a higher difficulty eventually the rocket the gunships are gonna freeze and you're gonna have to jump into the pack jump to the other ship and try and kill the boss the combat ends when the ship is destroyed and that boss is dead so we're gonna jump into one of these where's the ship there it is froze so we can kill this we're going to take this over here and we ended up destroying it so I have to hurry we'll teleport back there we go so yeah it, we ended up doing enough damage that it ended up working so that's pretty much it um, let's take this off yes this back because I don't need this anymore. And let's see what we got. Money. An axe that I can't use and a trinket that's useless to me. Alright, so now there's a whole thing and they're going to talk for a while. This happens a lot. It's like they really took role play to the extreme this, exp that, this expansion. So, or especially with this raid. So now we're hanging out with Murden because he's kind of a boss. And the Horde guys are going to come. And Jaina and Varian should show up pretty darn quick here. Oh, there's my Ella Isn't he cute? Alright, come on. Oh no, I have to talk to him. Right. Derp. 
Okay, no, that's my fault. Alright, talk to him. We're ready. We're sure. Yeah, I know I'm at 100% for everything, I'm sure. Okay, so now we fight this guy. He, again, just all the role playing. So combat starts in 40 seconds. Joy. Um, and then eventually there's going to be another role play thing that I think we can just kind of skip on ahead. But essentially what happens if you're Alliance, I th assuming something similar happens if you're Horde, I never thought this is Horde. Um, the da Sarafang's dad comes off the Horde ship and he's like, no, I want to see my son emerge. It's like, I can't let you do it. And then Varian and Jaina come in and Varian's like, let a grieving father pass. And it's like all this big touching, but... Jaina's, ac Jaina's voice acting was so bad in this scene that I just, I, I can't help but laugh when I hear it, and I feel really bad for saying that. So, he's a death knight. He's being an ass to all the dwarves. And we're gonna fight him. Because nobody messes with my dwarves. Oh, I should also note that when you step into here, you get the he you get a buff from Varian Rin that persists through death, which is really nice. Your health is increased by 30%. Your healing and absorption effects are increased by 30% and your damage dealt is increased by 30%, which is pretty handy. Helps you go through it faster. So yeah, there's the event. Meriden's pissed off, and then the Horde will come, and then Varian and Jaina will come. And we're just going to keep going because this is a walkthrough and we're not here to watch the roleplay. Alright, so now we go left. And you'll take a bit of damage from the Frost, don't worry too much about it. Oh no! I'm still at 100%. Alright, so we're gonna go here first. And again, if you're doing this and you want you're doing this for to get rep, kill all the trash. The trash will give you quite a bit. Um, try not to skip anything, but you know, sometimes you can't help it. But Yes, trash is definitely gives a lot of rep all the way up through Exalted too. It's not like, well, for lack of a better word, Molten Core. Um, like trash will give you Exalted all the way up through to Exalted. So that was pretty awesome. No, you die now. All right, so this one it's a little bit trickier. a good amount of gold, so I always do like to loot. Okay. Now we kill Stinky. We don't have to kill him in this order. This is just how I like to do it. So. And again, there's achievements, and they're pretty straightforward. I've never had any issues with the achievements. Um with trying to get them. They're all relatively easy aside from Lich King ones, but again, I might do another video on how to get achievements. And there's achievements for 25 and achievements for 10. So, Alright, let's kill Fester Gut. Doesn't that sound awesome? Alright, this is another boss. Um, his trick is he just casts stuff that you don't want to stand in. But, like I said, look how fast I killed him. Again, this is on normal, so... Oh, a mace. Do I want this? Not really cloth pants will do nothing for me so go away okay and then when you're finished you need to click the gas relief valve don't forget to do this or you're gonna have to run back and that will have these coming in now orange and then we need to kill the boss on the other side in order for the doors to open yeah you can see if you've been watching trade or been listening and trying to listen over me um oh crap it's a trap there was a trap that was rude Um, so here you can see this the whole thing that's happening between Rin and Sarfang. Sarfang. It was nothing, Your Majesty. Just of my king. Now we're killing Rotface. He's dead. Ooh, a staff. 
Oh, I like you. Do I have you? I do not. Okay, I'm gonna take that. And then don't forget to click the valve. The ooze relieve valve this time. And now we get all this gross green stuff. And I'm not saying it's gross just because it's green, husband. He adores the color green and I'm not that crazy about it. But it, it's ooze. It's just not nice. So this part is a little annoying. Um, you're gonna get attacked by a bunch of cockroaches. And it's kind of gauntlet E, so just start attacking them. And as soon as you get up here, the doors close. Invalid target my ass. And it just does this for a while. There we go. Alright, good enough. So now we fight Professor Putricide. And on normal this guy won't be any this guy will not have any issues. I would not recommend drinking anything on his table. He's kind of crazy. Yes, that's excellent news. You've perfected the plague that will destroy life on Azeroth. That's fantastic. Okay, come on. Okay, I'm stunned. He's gonna drink something. I'm dead, but I've still got tear gas on me. I don't know how long this lasts. Come on. Let me go. Come on. Let me go. There we go. I was like, oh no, did it bug out? Am I going to be stuck like this forever? Oh. Okay, and what does he draw? An unidentifiable, or unidentifiable organ. That's yummy. Okay. Alright, now we run back. And we're gonna run back to go to the middle and fight this boss. There is one boss where I would recommend using a heal off spec or um, having a second person come just to help you with that pull. Um, because it is kind of a backwards pull, you only need to heal the boss, you're kind of healing her back up. Um, and it's hard to do that if you don't have a healer. So we're gonna go that, we're gonna go this way. First though, that's a, that's a boss that's coming up in a bit. I kinda wanna check how we are on time, but I don't wanna give you guys the black screen of death again, so. All right, this one is relatively simple. We will just do this. Okay, and you can click on this thing. It makes you bigger. Damage done increased by 100%. Your, all your spells are instant and your melee stuff is increased by 100% too. Doesn't last long, but oh my god, I have a curse on me. That's great. Okay, so now we run forward, and all three of these guys come up. Um, they share a health pool, I believe, but only one of them you're supposed to attack. Only one of them will have like a full health thing, so it it's not that difficult. I promise. Oh. Hi, husband, what are you doing? All right, come on the uh, blood orb that will also res them. Okay, so this is the guy that has the health and I think it just, it's random which one I think. So it'll switch in 40 seconds. So you just have to grab the guy. There we go, and they're all dead. It's that simple. Okay, let's grab the frost weave, the sword that I can't use, a ring that is useless. So let's go. Now we go up the side and we drop 
<coughs> we drop up, we run up. There we go. How does one drop up? There's a question. All right. So I apologize profusely for the uh, lack of, or the uh, long time it took me to get this going. I wasn't sure if I could solo it because I'd tried, I'd, I'd had issues doing it with friends not realizing that we were doing it on 25 Heroic and I couldn't figure out why we were having such issues and I was like, I can't solo this, there's no way. This is at level 90 and I kind of went, oh, um, but if I do this on regular, I should be fine. So why am I running? Oh, Amplify Magic, okay. Okay, so now we're gonna fight her. Now her only thing is if you're if you end up taking a long time with this fetish, she turns someone into a vampire and then they turn other people into vampires. So you just kinda have to watch out for that, but I think we're gonna be okay. So she does the move called vampi vampiric bite, and then there's a pact of the dark fallen. I don't entirely understand what all of that is, because I usually kill her quickly, so So I have my damage is increased but I get healed, but I'm also like, stuff. I don't, again, I don't really understand it, but that's okay, because we killed her. And I can't use any of that. So now, so you see the thing that fell down. So now this is a elevator. I think, or do we just drop down? Oh, we just drop down. Okay, well, the good news is, I have levitate. Whee! Levitate, slow fall. All of that. It's awesome. Okay, and we're gonna keep going left. And now we go this way. So this is, I usually get lost here. So we just fought, let's go to Atlas Loot. And we are in Wrath, and we are doing Ice Crown Citadel. So we just fought the Blood Queen, so now we are doing, okay, the Dreamwalker, excellent, so. So now we are fighting the healing lady. So as soon as we clear this area, um, I am going to switch to holy because it is the easiest way. I could do this with just flash heals. I've never tried it with just flash heals. I don't really want to do it with just flash heals considering that I have a healing spec right here. Why, why are you buzzing? I am doing a video, sir. I cannot talk to you right now. Okay, and the only thing you need to watch out for is these guys have, uh, there's a couple guys that respawn. So just watch out for that when you do that. So now, do we fight you? I don't even know. Oh, she's reviving someone. Oh, this is the guy. Okay. We took too quick. We were too quick. There we go. Okay, and we'll kill her. That was easy. She's not really a boss. Okay, so now, actually, I, well, I can probably do this in shadow. Let's try and do it in shadow. I'll probably run out of mana, but that is okay. So you have to kill these guys first. These, this, these, this small group of guys. No. Oh, okay, maybe not. So we start healing. Yeah. Okay, I can do this as shadow. All right, that's good to know. And now she's at 100%, and that's the end of the raid. And that's all that happens. So that took me eight seconds, so yeah, I, I'm not concerned. You don't need to attack anything if you don't want to. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy. And she leaves behind a chest. That will take a few seconds to, oh, I didn't want to loot all that. Oh well, what do I got? Uh, mace that I can't use and stuff like that. Okay, that will get mentored later. And we're gonna keep going. So now we run this way. And now 
we fight Sindragosa the dragon. Now, Sindragosa has a couple moves that are a little bit tricky. Um, but if you are doing this, like I said, on normal, a lot of this stuff isn't going to matter. Um, if you're doing this with a large amount of people, just don't stand in the fire or the ice or anything like that. And this is another gauntlet type thing. Okay, Cinder goes a gauntlet. Now we have a mad influx of crazy coming to us. All right. Because it's a gauntlet, it takes 5,000 years. Oh, I have a mission done. That's exciting. There's a few little guys we have to kill first, and then the boss comes. And she does a move called Ice Block, where she'll turn some people into a block of ice, and then you just have to stand behind them and not get killed by Frost. But if you're doing this on normal, you will kill her so fast, it won't even matter. Okay. Okay, now we fight these two guys. Okay, and now Sindragosa comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Queen of the Frostbird. I know. You're such a badass. Come on. So because we are in her frost aura, we are suffering so many thousand frost damage per second, or every three seconds. So you can see she has an air phase that you want to kill her before, and then she has a frost breath that does stuff, and just don't stand in the fire. And kill her quickly. That's really all I can tell you. Okay. That, ooh, what about you? You, I uh, don't really care about. Okay. Cool. Alright, foam, what the heck? Stop that. Alright, so that is that. So she is dead. And that's it. And now, we're gonna veer left up here. And now we're gonna, this will take us back up to that big room with the big circle, and we're gonna head to the middle, and we're gonna go up and fight the Lich King, and it's gonna be really fun. And yeah, it's gonna be a great time. Come on, come on, come on. No, darn it. Erg. And then if you die, you can warp to various parts, essentially. Come on. So 
So make sure if you're standing underneath and it goes down, make sure that you jump or it won't register that you're on top of it and then you'll kind of just be SOL. So, here we go. Now we run. You can kind of see where I am. So that's where we went to go heal the one lady. The one dragon lady. The nice dragon lady. So the last fight takes a long time. Not because the fight itself is complicated or long. The fight itself is relatively short, for the most part. Um, oh, I did all of that without being in Shadow Brothers. Well done! Or Shadow Form. Um, there's a lot of role playing. And don't be afraid, because if you kill him quick enough, you will not actually die like you're supposed to. So, we're going to talk to Tyrion, we're going to start the fight, he's going to talk for a while. So what's going to happen is, there's a couple rules you need to follow. And I am, I can't convert this to raid group. So, you're going to fight, If assuming you're doing this like with a full on raid group. One group, you want to fight the boss here. The other group is going to tank the adds over here, behind, kind of half behind this pillar. Um, so yeah, we got 40 seconds still. And um, the reason for that is, unless you're going for a specific achievement, which can be very difficult, um, the ads need to die away from him, or they give him a buff that makes it very difficult, especially on 25 heroic, um, because more ads spawn. That is not my password. There we go. Okay, combat's right about to start. So we're, because we're soloing this, we're just going to fight him here. And he's going to, he is going to get, so he freezes Tyrion, who apparently is such a powerful paladin that he can't get out of the block of ice. So, okay, this is, we got him, so you have to get him to a certain percent, and this is where we get Remorseless Winter. So you need to be far away. You can't go anywhere near the purple stuff. He's going to summon these raging spirits that you need to kill. And he's also going to summon these little orbs. They're called ice spheres. They need to die very quickly. You, you need to have someone range because if they touch you, they knock you off. And if you can get close enough to the Lich King, like right here, without actually being in the purple, um, you can do damage to him, and that's important too. Especially if you're soloing us, it's always a good idea. And these guys just get more powerful, so... And then eventually, I can't reach him, there we go. So yeah, we killed him too quickly. What will happen is there's a phase change and he will knock, um, you'll go to the middle and uh, the, the outer ice is gonna break and it'll show up, it'll just, this start, it'll start to go dark purple. You gotta run right to him and then you'll enter phase three. And phase three is where the Valkyr come and pick you up and take you off. Now you need to kill them very quickly because otherwise they will carry you off on the edge and drop you off. It's just like the last boss in Skyreach. Um, so kill them quickly. If you're doing this on ice, on if you're doing this on 10 man, only one comes every, so you'll do that and then you'll have to run back out to the edge again and you'll go back to the end and then another Valkyr will come. Um, at level 100, that's not going to happen to you. It may happen. You may get to the Valkyrie. Like, we didn't even get to the Valkyrie this time because we killed him so quickly because we're doing this on normal. On 25 man, there we go, three will come. And uh, if you are only fighting with two people, um, so you'll kill one, and then another one will come and grab him right where it left off. So it's easier to fight the last boss on with one. If you're fighting it with one person, the Valkyrie never come for the guy that um, Valkyr never come for the guys, the guy that's tanking. Now you can see we're supposed to be dead right now and he's supposed to be raising us. Now what happens is when you get him to like 5 or 10% or something, um, he will kill you all. He'll just one shot you. And the idea is he's going, he wants to res you as Scourge. Um, and then Tyrion goes, oh F that, and comes and saves us. Um, but on 25 men, there is an alternate part where you go to another different dimension and fight stuff. I've never actually done it because I've only done 25 men as a level 90 and we always killed him too quickly. But, uh, yeah. So, there's a thing. I don't know anything about it. I apologize. If you're doing this at max level, do 
do not worry about it. If you're doing this at level 90, do not worry about it. You are going to be fine. Um, so we're essentially, we're supposed to be dead right now. It's a bug because you kill him too quickly. And he comes out, he breaks out of his ice block, and he starts attacking the Lich King. And the Lich King's like, that's not possible! And, yeah, he dies. And what happens? We get, ooh, a dagger. I like that dagger. Oh, I have one, okay. Well, okay, and then there's a cinematic, right? I forgot about the cinematic. So, we'll watch it. That's what happens. Figured I'd let you guys see the cinematic. I'm s I apologize for the audio being so off. Okay, so I have that thing and I can't take that. So that is it. And now if we go up there, you can see he's, he's in there. And Tyrion is there. And now he's very sad. When did you get a helmet? You were not wearing a helm. When did he get a helm? Okay, anyway. That's it! That is it! And you can't leave, really. You have to kind of hearth, so we're gonna go back to the garrison, but... 
yeah, so that happened. Um, so that's Ice Crown. Um, like I said, doing it on Heroic, a little bit hard. Doing it on 25 is a little bit tougher. Doing it on 25 Heroic is the hardest it will be, and it's still very, very doable with a small group of people. You can probably still solo it if you are an actual DPS spec. I am, I only have Shadow for questing and for doing other stuff because I am geared for Holy. So yeah, but that's that. So thank you so much for watching. Let's alt tab this. How long are we? 40 minutes. Holy crap. Okay. Well, let's go to webcam. So you have to start a black screen. Um, thank you so much for watching. So you are going to be unfortunately forced to watch vlogs on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. I'm sorry, but I will be at my parents with only a laptop that does not have the capability to run <clears throat> very well all of the games and record it at the same time. So I'm sorry, it, 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 you get to see my face instead, but it'll be crappy cell phone videos and I hope you will laugh. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.